Hi everyone, so I'm here with a Pentel Arts pocket brush pen. I thought I'd review it because I'd never used it before. I have actually um, seen lots of other people use it on YouTube and I thought I'd buy one and see what it was like. So it's permanent ink, it's both water and fade resistant. It's got leak proof fittings, blah blah blah. So yeah, that's what the box looks like. Let me just zoom in for you. Yeah, that's my zoom, just moving my hand up close to the camera. So you can see there, you can read on the back uh, what it says. You can see it comes with two refills. I don't know if there's one inside it as well, so let's find out. Okay, here we go. So I've got the two refills. Let's just see if there's one in it. No, no there's not. <clears throat> So you saw on the back of the box it says to put this straight in so I'm going to do that and hopefully not break anything. I'm assuming that's it. And then it says to hold it um, this way down vertically with the tip down until ink drains down to the bristles and then make some test strokes. So firstly let me take the lid off. <laughs> My hands are quite slippery. Let me just put this base back on. So let me just pull this lid off. So the tip is white at the moment, so we want that to be covered in ink. So I'm just going to hold this upside down until it until it starts coming out at the bottom. See the ink starting to run down into the tip. Oh, look, that's pretty cool. I'm going to test it on the paper. It hasn't quite come through the tip yet. Almost there. You can see the colours actually building up in the tip there. I didn't expect this to take so long. Come on, I thought the ink would run a little bit quicker than that. So it's still coming through the tip, it's not quite ready yet. You can see it doesn't quite sort of fill up. If I was to press harder, it just breaks up. Well, I hope the ink comes through a bit more because that's not, not quite what I was expecting. I was hoping that when you actually press harder that it doesn't break up, that it just fills up that space with more ink. My first impressions though is I love that the tip is really fine. So you can see you can get a really fine point. And you can get some quite fine little lines and then the harder you press, the thicker the lines will get. But obviously to a point and then the ink runs out. So I'm hoping that will change once the ink runs into the pen nib a bit more. By the way, I just want to point out, if you can hear any noises in the background, it's probably either my bunny rabbits in their cage, which I can hear them now, or my neighbours outside. Oh, I'm finding it really annoying. I can't stand it when things run out of ink like that. So I'm hoping it is just the way I put the cartridge in. I'm just going to check it. It doesn't seem to go in any further, it seems to be in as far as it can be. You can see on the cartridge that it tells you what, which direction to put it into the pen. It's in as far as it'll go, so I don't know. I'm hoping it'll work better. No, it still seems to be fairly average to be honest. I love the, pe I love the pen nib. Oops, got it all over my fingers. I love the actual brush tip how it's so, so fine, although it is hard to get really fine lines and it's nice the way that the bristles keep their shape and when you push harder you can get a thicker line but I'd say you have to go quite slowly for the ink to catch up but even then that's, that's going to irritate me, look at this, if I was to go really fast. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that drives me nuts. 
This is just plain white, like printer paper by the way. Well, I'm really disappointed. What can I say? I must have done this wrong. Like I even did that one really nice and slow and it still broke up on the edges. This kind of sucks. I didn't really want to do a review where I'm not happy with the product. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do now. I was going to draw a picture with this but I kind of don't want to because it drives me nuts. It drives me absolutely nuts. I'm tempted to actually just put it aside. Uh, nib down so that maybe the ink maybe the ink just needs more time to run down so I'm gonna leave it for a little while and then I'll come back to this and hopefully it will be a bit better okay so it's been a few minutes so hopefully this is going to work a lot better uh, moment of truth <laughs> breaking up. <laughs> oh, that is so annoying. If I go fast, it's just too fast for the ink to catch up. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I was going to actually draw a really nice picture with this today, but it's kind of put me off now and I'm kind of not in the mood anymore. <laughs> I, ugh, I just I just don't like this style where it's really broken up and and dry looking. It actually makes my skin crawl. <laughs> it's kind of like when you put like fingernails down a blackboard, this dry brush effect just um oh it makes me tingle and I don't like it. So I'm gonna stop doing that. Um, but if I go slow, obviously you can and get it working as you like, although yeah, it does still break up. I guess as an inking brush, if you're going to go quite slowly over your lines, then it's quite acceptable, but if you want to go a bit faster and get some nice sweeping shots, then no, you're kind of not using the right tool. Anyway, so I hope that was helpful for everyone. Um, I'm sorry that it's just getting a negative response from me, but I'm just a wee bit disappointed. So I'm hoping that after maybe an hour or so standing upright that the ink will drain through a lot more and then it will impress me, but till then, uh, <laughs> That's the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. Um, I'm Catherine Swan of Swan Star Designs, so please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.